What's up, Sagittarius? Welcome. I am so glad you guys stopped by. Girl Miss Marie here is super, super grateful that uh, you guys are always here and, and um, showing your love and your support. I really appreciate you guys. And um, I just uh, wanted to share that with you. I can't thank you enough. So Sagittarius, we are uh, in that last month of the year, getting ready to begin a whole new uh a whole new year ahead of us, right? Closing out this one and starting a new one. Let's hope it's a lot better than this one, right? So, Satch, I'm going to get you guys some energy, car some crowning energy, sorry, from the Priestess of the Light Oracle, Sagittarius. Go with the flow, letting go, cleansing and receiving. Yeah. So, again, letting go cleansing, receiving, being able to just go with the flow of it all, Sag. So there's something going on that you're going to be letting go of, it sounds like, and it's looking like, but they're asking you, you know, they're letting you know, first and foremost, that, um, you know, if this is cleansing, it'll be cleansing to your soul. It's actually going to be good for you, um, you know, regardless of how difficult and challenging it might be. Okay, I'm going to go with both of those as well. All right. So, Sag, please like, share, uh, subscribe, comment. I appreciate all of your love and support and, and your help with my uh, growing of my channel. Um, if you are looking for a personal read, I do them. So, please uh, look in the description box below for all my details. All right, let's get into this. Got some interesting energies going on here for Sagittarius. All right, all right, all right. Thank you, Spirit. So, you know, I'm an intuitive reader. I read what the energies are here. I listen to my guides. They tell me uh, what, what messages they want you to know. They talk to me and I, you know, I bring those messages. So, Let's see, we've got opening the heart, deep connections and water blessings. So, you know, I don't know, water must might be important to some of you. Uh, maybe you have a lot of water in your chart, but maybe um, water is healing for you. So, you know, maybe some of you need to get in the water. Um, this person standing on the beach, you know, she's putting her hand out to the water and it looks like it's actually raining. Yeah, cleansing is what they're telling me, but it's like water is healing for some of you. So that's a very strong message. Again, with the sacred breath and sound, um, and this is about life force and communication. There's a dolphin here. She's literally like exchanging gifts with the dolphin or dolphin in the water through the water so there's something about water here for you guys there's a strong message about water and i'm picking up like communication um i feel like some of you need to heal i feel like there's some of you guys are in bad health you might want to pay attention to your health uh divine mother so nurturing and compassion and grace again nurturing here is coming in so it's like I'm hearing someone needs to take care of themselves out there. Someone is uh, under the weather, not feeling well. They're in bad health. That my guides keep telling me there's they're, they're, for someone out there. If you're experiencing bad health, you know, um, water for some reason is coming through strongly here. That water is very healing for someone out there. Um, and that you need to go to the water. You need to get near the water, be by the water, put your feet in the sand, um, drink water. Maybe you need to drink more water. Um, they're telling me that some of you, you need to drink water. Okay. And then sacred action, decisive focus. Hmm. Yeah, so some of you guys, um, 
you guys need to get focused. Um, you need to be decisive and, and focused. It's like, you need to let go of some things. You need to clear some things out, but you also need to be able to receive love. Um, some of you aren't very good at receiving. So um, some of you need to learn how to receive, like open yourself up to receive and unblock yourselves from, from being so closed off to uh, the rest of the world and what it has to offer. Okay, and then portal, infinite mind, awakening, and consciousness. Yeah, see, that's what I'm getting at. I really feel strongly that um, a lot of you out there are going through a spiritual awakening. Um, some of you, I feel, are trying to block yourselves out of it and off, off, you know, the, it's, it's, um, it's time to receive the messages. It's time to actually listen, to hear, to feel. It's time to allow it to come in. Um, because we have the darkness to light card here, which is all about death and rebirth. Um, and, you know, we do that when, you know, we're working through our shadow sides in, in the darkness, and then we transform that into the light. And so many of you, that's what spirit is saying. Um, this is a time of transformation, of a spiritual awakening, of um, deepening your connection, of healing. Um, it's a very powerful time. Wow, some of you are so tired. I need to get a drink of water too because my throat... Excuse me. My throat's feeling like <clears throat> um, closing up. So like there's like this lack of communication, a lack of openness, and um, and and you know, spirit is saying now is the time to, to change that. Some of you need to drink water. I was felt like oh my god, I needed to drink my water. Um, and I drink a lot of water. So um, this is a, a heavy energy I'm picking up. I really am picking up some interesting energy for you guys, Sagittarius. You know, there's this a deep sense of needing to let go of something. What does Sagittarius need to let go of? What is it that Sag needs to let go of? What What is it that my Sagittarius folks need to let go of? What do they need to let go of, Spirit? What do they need to let go of? What does Sagittarius need to let go of? Please clarify this for us. Wow, these cards don't want to come out. They usually have no problem. So community, um, on a false person. So this card in this deck, <clears throat> pardon me, it's all about, um, community is like a sense of where you belong or where you think you belong who you feel most comfortable with. It's uh, very, very strong here, but it's like there's a false sense of community is what I'm hearing, a false sense of belonging. It's a message of concern. It's like I'm picking up that many of you know that you don't necessarily belong somewhere. You are there for the wrong reasons. Toil and labor, so much work. Exhaustion is what I, that's why I'm feeling exhausted. Like courting someone has been exhausting. For you, Sagittarius, are you staying for children? Are you doing this for you? Are you doing this for, you know, family? 
So, it could, you know, this is a mature person. The lovers is here, which is, you know, part of soulmate, but also making a decision. Are you, this something about wealth, a wealthy man, you know, what else for Sag? Main female. Needing to make a decision, I'm telling you, so... Oh, and a mature woman. Okay, this is just like so many people are dealing with this right now. And I feel like there's a lot of twin flame energy going around the world right now. Bright heart light and open connections. Becoming something new. Yeah, it's like letting go, cleansing, receiving letting go of a false person, letting go of a false sense of community, a false sense of where you think you belong. Um, it's needing to make that decision to let it go because there isn't stability. There isn't any balance. There's, you know, it's very um, fragmented. It's very all over the place. You're, you've got a mature woman here. You've got a main female there's too many there's too many people involved here um there's just too much going on here uh summoning power instinct intellect control and brilliant beliefs so that's your personal power um needing to have courage it's seriously this is needing to have courage and new creations. Um, it's time for something new, Sagittarius. That's what, and maybe you're getting this message of concern about this divine feminine, eternal flame, ancestral legacy. I don't even know that it's legacy as much as maybe ancestral patterns, um, needing to break that pattern. But, you know, we've got too many people at play here. I've got the mature man and a wealthy man and a mean female and a mature woman. So, you know, what, what in the hell is going on here, Sagittarius? Who are you dealing with? Why are you dealing with all of these people? And half of these people are fake. They're wearing masks. They're not even who they claim that they are. Removing obstacles is right here. It's like it's time to remove these obstacles. Um, what is the advice here for Sagittarius? What is the advice about this situation for Sagittarius? Divine Masculine. Phoenix Rising. Yeah, it's like, I don't know if, you know, you might be in a twin flame situation Hmm, just gonna say this, okay? So Sagittarius, it's almost like maybe you for a long time have been involved with even married to someone and along the way you met your twin flame, the illuminated path. You met your twin flame. And now it's like you're torn between two. So, but what I'm also picking up here, wow, see, someone is thinking about someone else. And making a change is a home situation. I am serious. So, It's almost like, well, first of all, I want to clarify the wealthy man. What is this? Well, who's the wealthy man? What does this wealthy man have to do with things here? Stabbing in the back. So it's like, who's the mature woman? Who is this mature woman? <laughs> A soulmate. Who's the main female? 
someone at a distance, and who's the mature man? The devil. Oh gosh, Sagittarius. And what is this all about? What have you gotten yourself messed up into, Sagittarius? Secrets, a player energy, king of swords, you know, that could be an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, not really sure, but someone in player energy. The moon is about things that are hidden, their secrets. There's some secrets going on here. There's been some betrayal and backstabbing. You know, maybe both of these, um, okay. So is this third party like a cheating situation? There's conflicts for sure. Um, are we dealing with a, a, a cheating uh, situation? All these kings keep coming out. Death. Third party and options. Shit. No wonder I keep seeing all this garbage. It's like, okay. Too many people going on here. There's too much. This is so toxic, you guys. The hell, Sagittarius. There's too many people. You know, you've got a soulmate connection here, but we've got all this devil energy, but this also could be Sagittarius. Um, you know, betrayal from a wealthy man, like, I'm getting the feeling that the, the main female, I feel like, is the main female, but she's a, the, also the mature woman. That's what I'm picking up here. I feel like the mature man and the wealthy man are two different people. I feel like this female has been um, going between the two. This could be a Capricorn person or someone who has Capricorn heavy in their chart. It could be this feminine. But I feel like the feminine energy is going between the masculine energies. And money, wealthy man. There's this betrayal. And Sagittarius, you need to let go because this person is ruining your life. Um, I keep uh, hearing, um, uh, imprisonment. I keep hearing like someone could go to jail, um, or die. I do. I keep hearing that. So, you know, it's like, there's some sort of, yeah, in poverty, this feminine is involved with the wealthy man, um, because she's in poverty. Like this person, I feel like doesn't work. Um, this feminine energy is not a working energy. She works. Don't get me wrong. She works. But her, oh, imprisonment is right there, actually. You know what I'm saying? The feminine energy works, but she doesn't get, like, your standard paycheck for what she's doing, if you follow me. Okay? And... The wealthy man is constantly thinking about, it's like, maybe this woman, this uh, feminine false energy, um, you know, is like taking a break from this person here, but this person's always thinking about this, this feminine. Um, how do they know each other? Marriage. They want to marry your person, Sagittarius. Your person, your, your, there's a, a message here. There's messages going back and forth. It's like, because this person feels that they want to be privileged. They want to be with this wealthy person. They are all about money. They want, what did I just say? Great fortune. Because this person has money. Sudden wealth is here. 
Yeah, occupation. They don't want to work, I'm telling you. Like, it's like this person's never worked. The, there's always a main male that's, like, paying her way. Um, and and spirit is saying, you know, like, you've been backstabbed and betrayed by this, this person. Um, I feel like you thought that this was your... Um, your soulmate and yeah, but I think it's a karmic soulmate. I don't, I don't, I think you were meant to learn a lesson, but I also feel like you're repeating a cycle with this person over and over and over and it's time to let go. It's time to, to release and to cleanse this out, to remove this energy from, from your life as most that you can. I, I do feel like this was someone, this has been a long time relationship. And perhaps you're married to this person. Um, and, you know, that's part of the issue here for the other man is that they want to marry her. They want to marry your person. Uh, your person, I feel like, was um, putting you in a third party situation. And, you know, to be honest, it, you guys both could have been doing this to each other. I uh, feel a lot of back and forth energy between the two of you. So, um, yeah, hidden motives here. You know, I like to di uh, just do this because pull cards from other decks because um, it it usually is pretty relatable when I when I do that. So I feel like you know you guys were very you be, you've betrayed each other. Um, I feel like this has been a long journey, uh, a long journey, and I think that it's affected a lot of people in the process, but. Spirit's really saying that it is just time to cut your losses and to let go. Uh, let go of this person because um, you've learned everything you needed to, you know. You need a new beginning. New beginnings are ahead of you. Um, you know, you're in this fragmented energy when you have a, a new cycle that's waiting for you. Uh, someone's wearing a mask, literally, like they are wearing a mask, but you, you know, you can, you should focus on being optimistic because there's a new beginning waiting for you. There really, really is. You know, someone is wearing a big time false mask here in the situation. And I feel like, you know, yeah, this is a family situation. There's, there's, it's hard for you because you have children with this person. I'm picking that up now. But I feel like, you know, there's so much more for you to discover. There's so much more out there. Um, creativity. It's like they're saying like you are a creative being, you're a creative person. Um, you need to focus on like maybe some of you are into music. You like music. So, um, you know, they're telling me that, you know, you, you need to fill your time up with uh, music. You're, that is a true love, a true passion for you. Um, it brings you joy. It in in it music speaks to you. It is a creative side of you. Um, it helps you with your dark thoughts. It helps you to stay out of your dark thoughts. It helps you to process your dark thoughts. Uh, we've got teacher here. We've got you know, letting go, stuck energy, and loss. Like it's. Sagittarius, it couldn't be any more clear that you need to start taking the steps. You see that their back is turned. You need to walk away from, you know, um, th that false person in your life so that you can start, you know, a new life, that you have a new beginning before this person ruined your life. And, um, you know, I just keep hearing like someone's going to go to jail. They keep telling me that if if someone doesn't walk away, if someone doesn't leave the other person and like literally leave them for good, that there is someone is going to go to jail. Someone's going to get locked up. Um, you don't want to be a part of whatever this other person is doing because um, it's not good. 
it's literally illegal. Um, they've gotten themselves wrapped up into something, I believe, that has to do with money. Uh, there's, you know, officials are involved. My guides just told me that you guys are probably, you and this person are being watched, um, maybe even investigated. So I just... That's why they're saying it's time to let go. It's time to let go of that person. It's time to distance yourself from that person um, before it is actually too late for you guys, okay? So that's what I have for you, Satch. I um, love you guys so much, and I am sending you love and support, all right? You guys take care, and I will see you guys on the next one, Sagittarius. See ya.